Hey guys, how's it going? Redmaster here. Ranked with Red, Red Zoo, November 2020. Let's jump into it. Alright, so, match number one underway. <sighs> I think we might keep this hand, actually, now I'm looking at it. Got the wolf for our early unit here, disintegrate in case anything scary comes out. Bestial Rage to be funny with maybe Dark Bender. I think, I think this is going to be an interesting game. Uh, Armory, cool. Didn't need to see you, but here you are. Going up against the Viking Pirate. Huh. Could potentially see some annoying Mystic Rat stuff here, I assume. Maybe. Not sure. Okay, Lich comes out. Lich does probably the funny freeze stuff. Very cool. Uh, I think what I might actually do... Coin to Armory? Have our wolf sort of bypass this Lich here? Or scare it off, the very least? Okay, Horseman... Perfect. Love to see it. Love to see that connection there. And then, yeah, you're going to have to probably run around here, right? Yeah, that's the assumed goal here. And then, I guess, let's go ahead and get more dangerous with Darkbender. He still has to interact with this wolf. I assume Lich is going to make the kill. But then we can easily just go into Rampage Wolf. And that should if, should seal us the deal. Well, maybe not seal us the deal. Hard removal exists, especially in the pirates uh, with execution. So we're definitely not out of it yet. Although I feel like we are getting close. Rally comes out. Okay. So Rally telling me that potentially reanimate was in the works here. Yeah, a lot of units kind of being saved, as you can see there. Uh, let's go ahead, uh, do I want to slap the, I think I do, I think I definitely want to do that now. And then we'll move this back. Uh... Yeah, they don't probably move back and set Blacksmith up, I think, right? Yeah, that seems fine. I probably should have done Blacksmith before, but I thought I was going to use the Centaur. I didn't, just because, uh, oh. Okay. Oh, I really hope I don't get Chain set up here. Oh, I feel like I might be. I might be getting set up for something a little nasty nasty here. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do to really stop that, but we can for now put a freeze on things. That peasant's probably going to get Lightning Blade and just destroy my entire setup here. Right? Probably shouldn't be the way that I'm playing this, but uh, that's what we're doing. That's what we are doing. Gotta cramp my leg. Okay, not necessarily going for the Dark Bender kill. So we probably something for the Centaur. Nope, just reminding everyone that Yenaroth exists. Very cool. Very not needed at this point. Uh I think if that big boy gets the lightning blade, it's over. Oh, we're so vulnerable. Uh, please don't have us die. Okay, phew. Not dead yet. I don't need to see a second Yenaroth, though. Okay, Swordsman is manageable. Swordsman is, in fact, manageable. We'll do this. Do this. Pop that there. I'm not going to really bother disintegrating the Lumberjack. I'll let him have the draw if he wants it. 
we should probably save that for if something bigger comes out to deal with uh, Griffin, which, okay, it's probably going to be another Yenner. I thought he did that. Yep, there it is. Oh. Why is it a second Yenneroth? Why? Why have you done that to me? Alright, let's play it like that. Obviously, uh, Wolf gonna or gonna block off the Yenneroth here for us. Gonna get a little tight though. We're running out of resources here, and he's got a couple of things he can do. Which isn't really great to see, but the wolf should block him off. Okay, there's another pillar. Alright, so he's basically just passed turn on the freezing pillar, but the timer did connect for that. Slightly concerning. Uh. Go ahead and just push the Yenneroth back. I hope he didn't DC. Because that would have been a shame if he did. I feel like there could have been more to do with the 7 gold. After just placing the pillar. Uh, Okay, no, there's Yenneroth. He's moving, so I guess just didn't do anything. Now Nalaki is going to hit the board here. Which, which for him. Manfish Kaiju for us. Alright. That's a bit concerning. The double... Oh. I would think you had some stronger... Oh, lord, you've got to be shitting me, bro. Third pillar hits the board. You've got to be out of your fucking mind, bro. You're telling me to interact with that? Oh. Alright, if the chain exists, let it happen. Do the chain. Do the dirty chain thing, because this is gross. Comes out and freezing pillars me a third time. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> I mean, Yarham's got to be sitting in the deck, right? You can't just tell me it's not. Okay, so we'll get some kind of Mordok interaction here. <laughs> Do Wraith. Okay, a bit of a weird desire to push the wolves out of the freezing pillar, for being honest. Although, I Do I not get that back? I do not get that back. Okay, that's how that works. Very cool. Alright, I've got to do this. Uh, I think I just pray to the chain deity that we hope that we don't die. Pray to the chain god. You know, we're gonna die, it's fine. Oh, that was a tough one to kind of calculate. I really would have helped if we had our, our back wolf free from the freeze, but freeze length, freeze length growth, freeze, freeze length growth, yeah. Pronunciation, 100. <laughs> okay, so which goes for Darkbender? Finishes up that top rat. Yeah, not the interactions I think he wants to see. Yeah, he forgot to attack with the... 
Ouch, that hurts. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Follow up with that. This goes here. This goes here. That goes here. This does that thing. We get stunned. We do that. We call it a turn. If he doesn't have a way to just OTK castle from here, we win? Do we? If so, that'd be big. No lightning blade is big pog. Oh no, we're gonna get we're gonna get stupid uh reanimate here, aren't we? Yeah, show me the reanimate that you pulled. <laughs> it's not the guy you wanna hit. Yep, there it is. Oh thank god. And that goes to, what I believe, two. Yeah, so we'll have a turn, but we won't really let him get any value out of it. Uh, we'll man a corner. Oh, we'll shoot that. We'll kill this thing. We'll put you back here so you don't get any sort of mana core. Or what's it called? Any other value from Mordok, and then we end turn. And he can't really reach us, so that should be the game. And, uh, whoo! A little, a little risky, a little risky, but, uh, we managed to pull it out there. Cannoneer, Armory, yeah, not, none of those are gonna help you. We, fell, we almost fell to the big reanimate swarm, but I think he pulled it out a little too late. So, uh, and yeah, <laughs> you know, he's already knowing he's showing up on the video. Uh, so that will, of course, be match number one. Very nicely done. Almost died, but that's beside the point. Let's go ahead and move on into match number two. Alright, so game number two now underway. We've got a bit of a... I think we need to swap that up, definitely. Uh, let's see, Rat King, Flamestorm, Mana Core. Eh, not the worst. Could be a little better, for being completely honest, but I mean, that's just the way it is. Gonna have to pass it over. Look like he'll get a free shot in with the Lumberjack, but that is, of course, no big deal here. So Sunflower making an appearance as well. Gonna point out that that's gonna maybe be a last will deck then. Alright, alright. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Uh, let's go ahead and do this then. Create some bits here. Do that. Run up here. I guess that's fine. It's not like he's going to sack it for... Well, he could grow Tesk if he really wants to, but... No, going to hit me with the flame storm. Alright, that is fine. Uh... I think I'll retaliate my own Flame Storm just to kind of even things out here. I don't want to take that three additional damage to face, and honestly, hold, using the Flame Storm now is better, especially since this is going to probably be a last will deck that we're facing off against here. Uh, so we definitely want to kind of just send something or block off any sort of damage attempts that he's got going on. And we'll get the armory down. I don't expect that to live very long, although I am pleasantly surprised that we're going to get that. Uh. Let's go with that. I don't want to use the Lumberjack quite yet, because now Andrew's making his presence felt on the board. And that is going to be problematic, especially when there are last wheel units that we have to, you know, engage with. Speaking of last wheel, there is the General. Okay. Not enough for that yet, so... Let's go ahead and push big griffin of course with the mana core spirit link we hopefully should be able to keep griffin around for a while and put some real nice pressure on our opponent here okay blue firebolt can hit our armory that seems fine but still doesn't take away the bigger issue of hey i've got a big griffin what do you got and he's got fear that's that's what he's got okay again still fine not in any real trouble here because again we could really actually kill that Andrew if we wanted to which we might go for okay rider doing that all right cool Let's 
go ahead and connect our companions onto fa onto the Andrew there. Take away his big scary wincon. Uh, and then pff, I have no idea what we're gonna do. If we're gonna, if I'm being honest. <laughs> oh, okay. We're gonna sit and eat a dragon's fire. That's what we're gonna do. Cause dragon's fire is a fun card. Oh, and hit the while well, we're at it. Okay. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go ahead and take the draw here. <laughs> Let's take the draw here. And then follow up with, I, I guess, just Lumberjack. Not Lumberjack. What are you? Blacksmith? Blacksmith Wolf. We'll keep that going. Hopefully he gets a little aggressive here. Looks like it's not going to be the case, though. Hmm. Puts a small damper on things. You don't really see Pegacorn too often, but uh, here we are. And Darkbender in a really off position in the back. Interesting. Uh, well, let's go ahead and push Pega back. With Darkbender back there as well. Let's see if any of those cards in hand relate to direct damage here. He's going to need something like uh, Double Blue Fire, Blue Fire Flame, Dragon's Fire, Flame Storm. Any combination of burns to really get rid of this Mordok here. That's one. That's two. Alright. So he did have it. Did have the combination of cards, which is a shame. Because he really could have used that. Although... Uh, I'm just picking up this. I mean, that would have been the worst thing in the world for us. See, that can do that and that. Might be a mistake, but we're going to go for it. Yeah, the problem is he's got so much burn that we can't really uh, come back from it. Okay, armory, that's cool. You need to burn, though, to really make that impactful. Please don't actually have a third flame storm. I was literally kidding. I open my big mouth, and this is what I get. <sighs> well, I mean, I've got to do this now. I probably should have blocked face here, because that third card is probably Arbiter, and I'm just dead here to Arbiter. Yeah, it's Arbiter. <laughs> Ooh, all right, all right, we'll take it, we'll take it. Ah, uh, thought I was dead, but I guess not. Um, yeah, very happy to see that uh, that last two, uh, either of those last two cards are not Arbiter. Uh, match number three, then, shall we? All right, the matches keep on rolling here. Match number three underway. You're going to keep our Mana Core and Centaur in hand, especially since we do have the coin here going second. Uh, Rat King, Descending Great, not too bad of uh, some pickups either for the early game here to help us out. Uh, going up against the Warlock Pirate. Uh, could see some Swarm stuff going around, maybe? Uh, what else we got? Uh... All right, so the turn passes to us. Doesn't do anything for his turn one. We'll probably follow suit. No reason to rush into the coin here, and Mordok will be our... Pick up for turn, not the, oh, I would like to see that maybe later in the game, not now, but it is what it is. Alright, Rat Hovel to follow up, pretty nice since we can't exactly deal with that. 
Uh, do I even want to coin out anything? Actually, you know what? I might, I might want to coin out something. We'll coin Smith. We'll coin Smith. Set up for a Rat King. That seems okay. Oh, this is a. Sp oh. All right, so we're rocking with Spawner deck here. We've got Spawner deck on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. If that's the case. It's going to be a bit concerning. So our mo our, our uh, objective right now is really to just move in and hit these hovels fast and hard. Wow, we really got a line going here, huh? Hmm. We can't exactly set that up. Yeah, let's give him some things here, just to get rid of these spawners. I think that's fine if we let him. I'm hoping he takes out the Rat King this turn, though. Okay, literally the exact opposite of what we wanted, and or needed, really. <laughs> but here we are. Ooh, that's a big pickup. Uh... Yeah, let's burn Hovel. Hovel the more immediate threat here. I probably should have kept a unit back to ensure that we can get a Centaur off on this, but I think it's fine. Wow, a turn six pass. Uh, ooh. Question is, do I want to continue to stop his... No, I think I do. We'll mana core to protect ourselves here. And just throw a Lumberjack in the corner, because why not? We'll get some draw power later. Might have been a mistake keeping the altar alive for one more turn, but I feel confident in leaving a position like this. My confidence is immediately rewarded with a fat Dragon's Fire. Uh-huh, that sounds about right. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get some things rolling for turn. Let's finally remove this then, if we're not going to be doing much else. Uh, it kind of worries me though, because we haven't seen any other cards of substance from him. So I'm really nervous if, like, these are just dead global buffs in hand, if there's things like Mordok in hand... Oh dear god. Mordok, please, big value. Somewhat big value, but also not big value at the same time. Oh, uh, because of the Phantom Strike, he'll be able to just simply walk in front of the zombie and kill it. Or pull off a... What? What? Why? Huh? Explain to me why that was the play, of all things. Explain to that to me. Explain why that, of all the plays, was the right one. Dropping Dragon's Fire at that moment when you had a clear opportunity to kill... What? You ha you could have killed the Mordok with Phantom Strike. Did stuff with the... Ri Ugh, I'm just confused, man. I'm just confused at the end of the day. That's, that's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. Villaroth going to be useful to us here. Oh, that's perfect math. Did someone say perfect math? Because I've got it. 
I mean, it feels bad putting this many units into, like, the, yeah, that feels wrong, but you know what, at the end of the day, it still gets rid of the nasty threats on the board. That's what it do. Why? Why? Oh. The only reason I'm putting Griffin here is because of the goddamn Villaroth that I know he's got now in deck. Okay, Dagger, Rider, Blue Fire, yeah, okay. So really just being a general pain in my dick. Alright, well we'll take the fear. <laughs> We'll leave we'll leave this for for later. We will we will leave this for later. I probably should have spiny the wizard actually now I'm looking at it, but fuck it. God, alright, a second kraken feels kinda of rough. You're not gonna kill it because you want that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Spiny, Dragon's Fire, Rider hit that. Thank you. If he Kraken spans you to end the game, that'd be big sad. We did so well to avoid all the other damage, and all of a sudden the thing that's going to kill us is just, hey, I've got multiple Krakens for turn. Be pretty weird. Fear, no, please. Such a weird set of cards, though, for him for sure. I don't think this deck has any sort of direct castle burn, no? No, it doesn't, doesn't. It does not. I think that should be fine of a turn. We weaken him with Spiny, right? That felt rough to do. That's why I wasn't saying much. I mean, what well, a third Kraken doesn't do anything. Phantom Strike, uh, Phantom Strike Demonic? No, okay. Cannoneer, yes. The Cannoneer is a good sign for us boys. They're not doing much tonight, I'll tell you that much. Oh, God. Uh, you know what? Well, no, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that and end the turn. <laughs> I'll let you keep the Villaroth. I'll let you keep the Villaroth. Uh, but we'll of course end the game there. Oh, another another weirdly close one, especially for the deck that this guy was running. A lot of early spawners, krakens, weird combination of cards. But we will uh, pick up the victory for sure. So happy to see that match number four. Let's move into it. All right, match number four. Here we go. Got a lot of burn for this one, which we might actually take, considering our opponent is a little bit of a ninja druid player. Uh, reason I'm keeping this, obviously, we have some things like uh, what you call it, wear at that pops up. Maybe some first strike shenanigans here and there. Uh, I'll let him take the one chip with the lumberjack. I don't feel too bad about it. Uh, we'll easily just Northlands Wolf and move on. But yeah, no, that's 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 what I was worried about. This bad boy right here, the wear rat. Uh, I could just coin flamestorm if I really wanted to. Do I? Uh, you know what? Yeah, coin flamestorm. Disintegrates more damage that I can deal to something else. 
But where Rat making an appearance yells first strike. If it doesn't if it doesn't give off the idea that first strike is a deck theme here, then I don't know what will for you. For you. Uh, let's get the wolf block going on here. He'll probably trade into Lumberjack, no reason not to. If he first strikes the Lumberjack for some reason, whoopee. Yeah, no, that's not that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Manicore will happen, though. Alright, Manicore is an interesting development here. No, I think we'll just leave it like... That? Ugh. I think I'll leave it like that. If he's got the companion fair play to him, but this should deter him. Oh fuck, it won't matter. Beast of Rages exists. Uh Oh, when you're not the pickup we need. Oh no. No, I'm glad I kept the Disintegrate now in hand. Oh, whoops. Didn't fucking matter. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna... There's no way he's got a dragon to make this green drake any scarier. Yeah, no. No way. Uh, now the first strike rolls in that I can deal with. Fantastic stuff. Fa I think we just lose here because I can't deal with first strike. Now he's got this momentum rolling. Any buff on that, and it's like it's game over. Cause, yeah, no, not even Fenrir and. Okay, well, Alpha Strike, multi. Oh, I think that that is right. I have fourteen. I have twelve. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wow, that ends the game. All right. Well, that was a quick one. No need to sit on that match any longer. Let's go to match five then. All right then. So we're back with match number five here. We've got the same opponent that uh, we played in match one. Fantastic stuff. We'll see. I mean, he's got a new new color set going on here, so he's he's come prepared. He's come prepared. We'll, we'll throw the we'll throw the greetings on him. We'll, won't be fair. We'll be nice. But I assume. Oh, you know what? I assume this actually might be monsters, just based on the the way that he's got his castle here, and these are primarily monster colors. So, yeah, I won't be surprised if he's got monsters going on here. Elvish thief. Yep, hits lumberjack. Very nice. Let's see if that's going to help him against Mana Core, though. It might, actually, but hey. I'm not going to give you more treasure. Oh, it looks like it did help him. He did realize... Okay, he did. Alright, I was about to say... <laughs> Hopefully the guy did realize that the that interaction would work out like that. Uh, Flamestorm would be so valuable here. The absolute nuts value. But alas, we do not get it. I'll give him some more treasure though, I guess, for now. And then continue to hit the back here. No reason to forcibly trade into the Kunoichi. Uh, I think what we could see, though, also a lot of stealth. Why not just trade the weaker one? Why? Why must you do this? Oh, well, there is the valuable card that we were looking for a turn ago, which... Mm, do I want to play it now? I'm going to be a little sneaky devil boy and not play it now. We'll see if he's going to throw out anything else weaker in the area. I say as he throws out chonking Minotaur, bro. I really got to keep my mouth shut. Yeah, I gotta do this. Just remove, just remove big Minotaur. Remove big threat from my life. 
I mean, I was right, though. This looks like to be a monster's deck. So. We know what we are dealing with now, gentlemen. And that is step number one to winning the war. Please, why did you shadow Katana? Why have you done that? Why have you katana my soul and my spirit away? I'm putting out Mana Core to uh, block here. Block that Serpent Witch face damage, especially if he's got buffs in there like Katana now. Kraken, yeah, fine, but at least it's not five. Oh, wait, am I just dead? No, I'm not dead. I feel like I'm dead. I feel like I'm dead to just monster spam here. Because we're not also- we're not drawing the tools we need. Oh no. Game, please. Dragon's Fire, please. Oh. Oh wait, no. That still doesn't help us entirely. Ah! He'll still do two damage. <laughs> Fuck! Uh, and then Kraken can just kill us at literally any point. And yeah, I've got I've got nothing to stop Minotaur. Oh, uh, that's gross. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Not I'm thinking about it. Hold on. I am surviving in this top deck war. You cannot stop me. Uh, I'm literally just a crack in a way. Uh, hello. Yep. Oh god, that's not a draw. That's not a draw. That's not a draw we like. I'll admit though, this is, this is a pretty... We got ourselves a pretty fun matchup here. Although it's sad that I'm just gonna die. Let's protect ourselves from the flying Masuda. We can't deal like big damage next turn. We just die. I think he knows that if he really just walks away. Yeah, if he walks away, then that's that's fine. He doesn't have to interact with me. Are you kidding? Uh, if only I could fear my guy into him. It would have been something special. Uh, Alright, so last game, unfortunately, another loss as well, uh, thanks to the fact that we couldn't really handle Monster Swarm earlier on. We have a good comeback, but not enough health to justify a, a, a winning comeback, uh, which is fine. We'll get a little one-for-one -one, uh, game exchange here in the end. His, 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 uh, his revenge for game number one, which is completely fair. You know, you could just end it, my guy. That's another thing that you could do here. We can end the game instead of doing... Literally everything that you're doing. Yeah, mm hmm. Very cool. Alright, and then yeah, Centaur. We probably could have used Centaur last turn, but again, just not enough damage, which is unfortunate here. So, three games, uh, no, three wins, two losses, 3297. That's completely fair. We could have probably bumped that up to 33 if, uh, you know, we had actually won one of these last two games, but of course first strike funny engagement and now uh this this monster stuff which uh we we could have easily beaten but uh unfortunately just not the right order of cards to win us the game and then of course witch and minotaur are big creatures uh, to be fair they are big creatures uh but that's gonna do it of course for red zoo for the season again not not the worst not the worst uh but we'll hopefully have to get that up next season so uh until next season we'll just have to figure out or for until next season we'll have to live with this. Alright folks, and with that being said, of course, that's going to end off today's video. Of course, a bit more casual in the commentary today as the holidays have been busy and I needed to decompress a bit. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the matches. Regardless, uh, let me know what you guys thought by leaving your thoughts down in the comment section below and where down there. Leaving a like, share with your friends, and of course, uh, subscribe if you're new or haven't done so already. Best way to support the channel after all is by leaving that subscription. 
And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me for now. So, until next time, guys.